Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the first half of May 2019. This is your love reading for the first half of the month. If you want to catch me live, by the way, I go live every single day at 5 or 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time now. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But uh, Capricorn, <clears throat> let's see what we have going on for you. As usual, I feel like a lot of you could just be very focused on work this month. So again, you might not even be interested in love at this time. Uh, you have the Six of Pentacles and the Frenzy card. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you could be very busy at work. The Frenzy card is an oracle card in this deck. It just represents being very busy. Six of Pentacles is like you trying to plant seeds in multiple areas of your life. I feel like you want more from life in general. So I, uh, and uh, by the way, you have the Two of Pentacles next. It's all, it's feeling like it goes together to me. So I would say that I feel like a lot of you are trying to make the decision to create more of a life. It's like maybe you're sick and tired of the way your life is right now. And it's like you want more. Maybe it's like you want to travel or maybe you just want more opportunities or maybe you want more personal growth or whatever, you know, whatever it is. So I feel like a lot of you are very busy kind of on your own like planting seeds for to create more. So this could be like you're starting businesses or maybe you're creating more opportunities for you to travel or you're trying to make more money so you can do these things. And I feel like a lot of you could be very focused on yourself doing that. For those of you interested in love, again, I feel like you're hoping for growth with somebody. Uh, next, you have the Two of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I feel like there could be an earth sign coming in for you this month as well. So some of you could be meeting somebody through work is what these cards are saying. I feel like this person's very, I feel like that saying the word dominance. So I feel like they have a very dominant personality, not in a bad way. I feel like this is like, they're just very, um, you know, confident. And I feel like it's a very confident type of person. It doesn't matter what you're interested in either. It could be male, female, whatever. Again, I don't attach sex to my cards, but I feel like this person has a very kind of dominant personality. I do feel like that could be what attracts you to them in the first place. Like I said, this is not in, in, in a bad way, um, but in a good way. Um, for others, I feel like, again, you could just be more focused on work or business with these two cards. Some of you could be trying to make the choice between love and money as well with this card here. The Two of Pentacles, you're like, do I want to focus on working or do I want to focus on attracting love into my life? Uh, next, you have the star and you have the three wands. Yeah, I feel like there is somebody coming in your future is what I'd say. I feel like this person is going to be a wish. Uh, they could be an Aquarius, but I don't really feel that. I feel like if anything, it could be either a water sign or an earth sign that would be coming in for you in the near future here. Capricorn. I feel like this person is going to be a wish, a dream come true, though, with this Three of Pentacles, or the uh, Three of Pentacles, the Star card and the Three of Wands. Um, but this all would tell me that there is love, like true love, coming in for you in the future. So maybe not right now, is what I'd say. I feel like, like you could be focused on other things with these cards. For others, by the way, if you're in a relationship, I feel like this could be growth and expansion happening within the relationship. So um, this would be a very positive sign for me, for you. And uh, for others, I do feel like this could be somebody coming in, but um, I feel like they could be moving a little bit slow. Uh, your challenge this month is the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, you could be stuck on the past here. Um, this has come up for almost everybody. Um, and again, if you just watch my daily readings, it's like everybody's always asking about their ex. So I do feel like for, and this has never happened before on the channel. Like I've never had so many people asking about their ex. So I feel like a lot of people could be stuck on the past. Ten of Cups is a card of completion. So you could be having a hard time getting over something from the past here, or you could be having a hard time letting something go with this Ten of Cups. So I feel like your solution is pretty simple. It's to move on. Uh, for others, this could be, you could just be having a hard time, um, you know, finding this with somebody. It's like you could be having a hard time meeting the type of person in general who would provide happiness, family, uh, you know, support, celebration, all those other good things. And you could be having sleepless nights because of this or a lot of worries and fears. This could also say your worries and fears are, ha are preventing you from getting into a positive relationship. So I feel like you have to kind of get out of your head with that night nine of uh, swords there uh, next your solution is the hangman and the queen of cups yeah so for some of you, you could be following clues towards love with this hangman. Again, this is not, you know, this is coming up as a solution. So it's not going to, it's not saying you're stuck. It's not saying you're stuck in limbo or anything like that. And you have the queen of cups as well, which queen of cups to me just very, on a very simple level represents a change in direction of love. It just says that love could be changing for you in some way. So it could just be saying that maybe you're more open to love or maybe you're more willing, um, you know, the hangman as a solution would also say maybe you have to make some sacrifices for love. Is what I would say here. So it's like maybe you have to allow somebody into your space, which, you know, that can be very difficult as well. Um, or maybe you have to allow somebody to share life with you as well. And again, you might have to make some sacrifices to do that. So that might be something that you have to do at this time if you want love in your life. Again, obviously, you know, if you don't want love in your life, then then never mind, you know, ignore that. And, and, and also, why are you watching this video, right? 
but I feel like a lot of you have to make some sacrifices. But these are not like big things. It's probably just allowing somebody in your space or you know, allowing somebody to take you out or shower you with affection, like all that other stuff. I feel like it's those types of sacrifices. Uh, next, you have the Empress and the Four Cups. Yeah, I feel like you are very attractive at this time, Capricorn. Um, so I would get out there and try to meet people. Uh, I also feel like you could be manifesting love in your life with the Four Cups. So it's like you could be manifesting somebody into your life, and that could bring love in very quickly as well. I feel like somebody finds you very attractive. Four Cups can represent ignoring offers. So I definitely say if you want love, like don't ignore offers coming in. Like I said, it blows my mind how many questions I get where people are like, I liked, I like this person at work. They asked me out. I said no, um, but will they ask me out again? I'm like, no, you said no, so probably not. Um, you know, If you like somebody, say yes. Like I said, it blows my, li my mind. I didn't even know this was a thing until I started doing readings. So that It's like people say no and then, then want the person to ask them again. It's like, why? It's like, just say yes. Uh, it's it's you know it's not that difficult so don't do that I would say with this four of cups this could also just say just date you know it's like you don't have to marry these this person I feel like one of the problems with the chart right now is that you know it's like we could be meeting people but it's like we could also be thinking like am I gonna marry this person too early and so then we we, we say oh no they're like a little bit off or there's something about them so then you just don't go out with them because you're like oh I could never marry this person it's like just go out I keep telling people just go out what's the best way to attract love into your life just go out just go out on dates it doesn't matter you're you don't have to marry these people, right? But at least then you're proving to the universe that you want love. Like, you know, one of my biggest problems is people who say they want love, they get a bunch of matches on Tinder, but they don't go out with any of them. It's like, just go out. You don't have to marry these people. Meet them in public. Meet them somewhere safe. Have a friend sit at a, t at a table near you so that you're protected or whatever you have to do. But it's like, just go out. Because like I said, if you're getting matches on Tinder or wherever and you're not going out, you're basically saying to the universe, I don't want love. Because it's like the universe is bringing you a ton of love, a ton of matches, but you're not going out. So I'd say, go out. Meet meet people. Just do it. You don't have to marry these people. And uh, finally, you have the strength card and the eight of wands. I feel like you need, some of you are determined to find love so i feel like a lot of you could be much more determined to communicate with people you could be much more determined to meet people as well this would be amazing for meeting people through social media this has come up quite a bit this month so i do feel like it would be a good month to meet someone through social media through socializing as well like in public or um, you know anything else like tinder or an app or something like that could be a good option for you but i feel like you will be communicating with somebody this month could be a leo as well yeah i feel like some of you want fulfillment i feel like you're getting to that point where it's like you do want to be fulfilled romantically so i feel like a lot of you could be moving towards that yeah some of you are moving towards marriage it's like maybe you're obviously not going to get married right now unless you are currently engaged but um you know again if you're meeting people you could be moving towards meeting someone who is a divine connection. Look at this, two of cups. So I feel like a lot of you could be moving towards true love. Probably not this month. Like what I would say here is that um, you 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 very well could be meeting somebody this month and you could be dating them and everything like that. But I feel like this right here is more, I feel like these last four cards, I feel like this is more of a relationship that develops over time. So it's like maybe you start out as friends or maybe you just start out going on a date like every once in a while, you know, and maybe it's kind of moves a little bit more slowly. So I feel like there's a little bit more of a process with the Eight of Wands. For some reason, the Eight of Wands is popping into my head as a process. So I'd say if you're meeting someone important, maybe you just kind of like take your time. Um, but at the same time, maybe it probably will turn into this, something more significant. So I do like that. I think that would be very good for you. But it looks like a really good month for you, Capricorn. Like I said, a lot of you could just be focused on work as usual, which is fine. Uh, but I would say if you want love, definitely put the work in. I would say go out on dates, try to meet people. I feel like that's how it's going to happen. And uh, just I would say look at it as fun. Don't look at it as a you know a job or anything like that. I do feel like some of you, I, I am kind of getting this message that you do need to open up a little bit more. Like I said, I, I, it kept popping into my head, letting somebody into your space. I don't even know why that kept popping into my head, but it did. So I feel like some of you, maybe that's a problem. Maybe that's why you push people away. Or maybe that's why you don't have love right now because you don't want to let somebody into your space or something like that. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.